Hello, and welcome to my video. One of my favorite things about the RTX cards is automatic overclocking, where you can get a hassle-free and stable overclock. Gone are the days where you manually configure settings to get a high-performance overclock. For automatic overclocking, which works on any RTX card, I am using MSI Afterburner since the feature is not yet supported in the Gigabyte Aorus software. For this, you need the latest beta version of MSI Afterburner. To get to the automatic overclocking utility, you must first press Ctrl F. This brings up the Voltage Frequency Curve Editor. In the top right corner of the window, there is the OC Scanner. Click on it and close the Frequency Curve Editor and you will see the MSI Overclocking Scanner window. There are two options, Test and Scan. Test will check for stability. Scan will give you a high performance overclock. Click Scan and in around 20 minutes, your overclock will be configured. Here is the overclock provided by the OC Scanner. After the OC Scanner is done, apply the settings in MSI Afterburner then save it to a profile. This GPU-Z screen shows the specs of the stock WinForce RTX 2070. Here is the same window after applying the overclock from the OC scanner. GPU clock and boost clock see a good increase. In games, the clock speeds will be even higher. For me, the number in games is typically somewhere above 1900 MHz. With the OC scanner, you could have more performance than some factory overclocked RCX 2070s. On to the RGB lighting. In order to change the RGB lighting on this card, you need the RGB Fusion software. This comes with the Aorus software, or you can get the standalone RGB Fusion software through the Gigabyte website. With RGB Fusion, you can change the colors, set different lighting modes, or you can turn off RGB lighting. In the description, there will be links to the software used. I will now cycle through the different RGB lighting modes. This concludes this video. Thanks for watching.